Let's move on to the next one. Now the get method is going to help you to retrieve the values provided the key. Let's come here and see. For example, console dot log. What was the name of the array? Car. Okay. Save, refresh, and you got five thousand here. So it is going to return value provided a key. Okay, you got it. Now coming on to the next method or each method. Now this method is going to take a function with which the values of the map can be retrieved, manipulated, and so many things. This function is called actually. So when you come here, please see here what I'll do. Car dot for each of a variable arrow function console dot log of a. So it will give me all the things of the map car map console dot log. Sorry, console dot log. Save it, refresh, and you got everything, right? You you got every value actually, right? You got BMW black five five something and twenty nineteen. I hope you understood this thing. It's a for it it's it was all about the for each. uh concerning the maps okay coming on to the next one keys method the key, again this keys is going to work with the help of the iterator object now it is going to return an iterator object with the key that is specified with that element don't get confused come here uh, for i will create another iterator so car dot mm, keys Okay, so console dot log y dot next method next method dot value. No need of this. Save it. Refresh. You got name here. Okay, the first one you got. What is that name? Is it a key? Or a value, it's a key, so it returns key. Okay, you understood. If you print for a second time, second key you will get. For third time, you will get the third key. Uh, refresh. You got three keys. Similarly, if you put a value there, you will get all the three values. If you put beyond that, after that, you will get undefined things. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.